Okay, we're gonna do lesson 14-6, estimating mass. So let's take a look here. Um, mass is basically how much something weighs. Now, scientifically, not, you know, we, we mass does not take into account gravity. Okay, so how much you weigh on Earth is definitely different than how much you weigh on the moon because there's a different amount of gravity on both of those but mass is not affected by gravity. So how much mass you have on Earth is the same amount of mass that you have on the moon. But for our purposes, just think of it as weight. How much does something weigh? But know that mass is a little bit more advanced than that because it doesn't, it, gravity doesn't affect it. So it's a little bit stronger than, than the weight, okay? All right, so mass, mass is a measure of the amount of matter that's in an object, okay? Two metric units of mass. So the way that we're going to measure mass is grams or kilograms, okay? So just like milliliters, remember how, how there were 1,000 milliliters, that equaled one liter, okay? There are 1,000 grams that are going to equal one kilogram, Okay, so the grams are definitely smaller. Okay, a paper clip weighs about one gram. So think of a gram as something you put in your hand and you would like barely even know it's there. A quarter, um, a paper clip, uh, something like that. It, you would like barely know it's there. You can see it, but your hand isn't like, whoa, having to flex all your muscles to hold it. A kilogram is like a big book. So the dictionary. So you can hold it with one hand. You're probably going to want to use your other hand just to, to stabilize it. Um, a cantaloupe, a pineapple, those are all about a kilogram, okay? So um, for objects that seem smaller in mass, smaller than one kilogram, we're going to use grams to measure that, okay? One peanut is about uh, one gram, a, a paper clip. For objects that are larger in mass, they're heavier, like a pineapple, we're going to use kilograms to measure them. So would we use grams or kilograms to measure the mass of these objects? Okay, a bag of onions. So not just one onion, a whole bag of them, there's probably eight of them in there. So think, I'm gonna pick that up with one hand. It's gonna be heavy though in my one hand. I might need to use my second hand to help stabilize it. Even if I don't, it's still heavy. It's not a paper clip, okay? So a bag of onions has a mass that is greater than one kilogram, so we're going to use kilograms to measure. You could also put kg. would be fine. Okay, a handful of popcorn. You got five pieces of popcorn in there. Again, not heavy at all. You're barely going to know they're there. You just have to look at it, so we're going to use grams to measure. Okay, so we're looking at a quarter, a just a regular, like a, like a dime, a quarter, a coin. If you have that in your hand, do you think that that is six grams or six kilograms? That can be the same as having six paper clips in your hand, or is that going to be the same as having six pineapples in your hand? I'm thinking it's going to be six grams. I don't think we can hold six pineapples in our hand, and if we could, it's certainly not going to feel the same as holding one quarter. Um... So is the better estimate for the mass, oh, it would be six grams. So is the mass of a quarter closer to six peanuts or six pineapples? Sorry, I didn't read that question, obviously. Would be, oops, ha, six peanuts. Don't follow Mrs. McGee today, there we go. So the mass of the quarter is definitely closer to six peanuts than six pineapples, so we're gonna use grams. Okay. 20 grams or 20 kilograms, better estimate for the mass of a TV. You're gonna to try to pick up that TV. Is it like picking up 20 paper clips or 20 pineapples? Now, as time goes on, our TVs get lighter and lighter and lighter, but it's still heavy. So it's gonna be closer to 20 pineapples, okay? And so the better estimate is going to be 20 kilograms, okay? All right. Let's take a look at this. Cynthia has a toaster. Is it one kilogram or 11 kilograms, a better estimate for the mass of the toaster? Okay, think about picking up a toaster. You could do it with one hand. 
you might want your other hand there just to stabilize it, but you're gonna be able to pick it up with, with one hand, with the other one, because it's kind of odd shape. Or is it gonna be like picking up 11 pineapples all at the same time? It's gonna be more like one, okay? All right, very good job. See you tomorrow.